<coughs> Hello and good morning. Uh, we up here in South Lake Tahoe, and this is uh, the project that we finished a few months ago. This is a suspension bridge, and this is made out of cable, ropes, and wood. Uh, this is a project that can be done in two days by two to three adults, depends on your experience. I'm just going to do some video and show you what's done and have a chance to take a look at our bridge. So the span of this bridge is about 35 feet. We have two platforms, one on this end, like a small tree house. So that was done previously, before the bridge was built. This little section here is also another platform that was done in the same weekend. And that was done with the assistance of uh, two of my friends. You can see it's really nicely built. Okay, we're gonna go up to the bridge. Alright, so this is a tree where I have all the rope attached. Not a very big one, and not a live one. So, I have some support to the next tree by this rope here. material that I use is we have a manila rope and this is about I believe one and a quarter inch right. so I secure that there are two of them for two railings We're gonna walk across the bridge, show you the entrance to our bridge. Okay, here we go. Okay, you see this end is connected to the bigger tree here. Right, so we go into the gate, connected to a tree house. So this direction is where the bridge headed into the tree. So we have a little turn off here so we can walk onto the platform of the tree house. Alright. A little tree house here, which is mostly is a platform. And we have a little slide. Okay. Go into the detail of the bridge making. So you have the rope that's wrapped around the, uh, the big tree here, so the up part of uh, the handrail. Okay, I'm gonna go down and show you the cable connection. So this is the bottom of the bridge, and we have the cable connection here.
So that will run underneath the bridge to, to give support. Okay, so make sure that you have the correct connection to secure it. And you should use at least about two or three of these on this side to make connection. Okay, so I have my connection here. And I use this web roll here to go around the tree because they're gentle on the tree and they are strong enough to support about 3,000 pounds, I believe. To make sure all of your connections are strong enough to support the bridge. And if this link, if it turns out to be a weak link, that would not be good. Even this small link here support about 2,000 pounds. All right. So that out of the way. Um, the wood that I use on the bridge, they're connected by this rope that can go up and down in this hole here, it runs underneath and run back up again. So they connect all of the piece of wood together. And that run on top, I mean up and down. And at the bottom you have the cable, the cable here. So this cable will essentially support the weight of the bridge. All right. Show you a little more connection here. Okay. So after you have uh, all the a piece of wood linked together and spread across the bridge. Um, I essentially got half this rope that can go up and down to the top handrail and go around again and to the bottom. And it's kind of going up and down uh, in a V shape like this and zigzag across the bridge. And that essentially gives support to the bridge. And you can see that I have uh, the little clip on here. So that's spread uh, all across the bridge as well. <laughs> So these are just uh, really convenient um, in the process, in the process of making the bridge. And then outside, I have a baseball net. This is uh, pretty good gauge. I believe it's something like 0.045 or something like that, uh, or the the, uh, the 0.45 uh, size. Uh, they are the, the thicker guy for the baseball net, not the, the thin one. But you can also use the uh, uh, support net, uh, safety net. Uh, would usually run a little more expensive. All right. So all this rope can be adjusted and give more tension to the ro uh, to the bridge at a little time to give the support. I'm gonna try to cut I try to catch as much detail about the bridge as possible. Just at the top. See how the rope got running through the holes there. But there are all the ways that you can just um, maybe use very thick um, uh, staple and maybe staple the underside of the uh, the wood to the cable, uh, to a steel cable running underneath. And you can also use that uh, to connect all the wood together. Um, 
I just use the rope just because that is what available to me at the time and I just do not have the, the big enough of uh, step balls to um, uh, to secure the wood to uh, uh, to the cable All right so you have this little pathway for the kid to run across and uh, it's a fun project to do <laughs>